In this video we share Divine Mercy and Our Lady. This weekend the Church celebrates Divine Mercy Sunday. It is the day that Jesus designated as the day when he would pour out mercy and forgiveness upon all those who approach him. Saint Faustina wrote these words from Jesus in her diary. Number 298, when, on one occasion, my confessor told me to ask the Lord Jesus the meaning of the two rays in the image, I answered, very well, I will ask the Lord. During prayer I heard these words within me, the two rays denote blood and water. The pale ray stands for the water which makes souls righteous. The red ray stands for the blood which is the life of souls. From number 299, these two rays issued forth from the very depths of my tender mercy when my agonized heart was opened by a lance on the cross. These rays shield souls from the wrath of my Father. Happy is the one who will dwell in their shelter, for the just hand of God shall not lay hold of him. I desire that the first Sunday after Easter be the Feast of Mercy. From number 300, ask of my faithful servant, Father Sopico, that, on this day, he tell the whole world of my great mercy, that whoever approaches the fount of life on this day will be granted complete remission of sins and punishment. Mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to my mercy. Oh, how much I am hurt by a soul's distrust! Such a soul professes that I am holy and just, but does not believe that I am mercy and does not trust in my goodness. Even the devils glorify my justice but do not believe in my goodness. My heart rejoices in this title of mercy. From number 301, proclaim that mercy is the greatest attribute of God. All the works of my hands are crowned with mercy. Well, we can see that St. Faustina's faithful service to Jesus brought forth this wonderful feast of divine mercy. Many parishes have a special Mass on Sunday devoted to divine mercy. But even at your regular Sunday Mass, you can bring the prayers and quietly pray for the graces of divine mercy on that day. Our Lady in Medjugorje gave us this beautiful message that speaks of God's mercy. From her August 25, 1989 message. Dear children, I call you to prayer. By means of prayer, little children, you obtain joy and peace. Through prayer you are richer in the mercy of God. Therefore, little children, let prayer be the life of each one of you. Especially I call you to pray so that all those who are far away from God may be converted. Then our hearts will be richer because God will rule in the hearts of all men. Therefore, little children, pray. Pray, pray. Let prayers begin to rule in the whole world. Thank you for having responded to my call. Our Lady is right. If we pray, 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 soon prayers will begin to rule in the whole world. Mercy will win. Please support my channel by watching another video. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.